Hello everyone, today in series of Docplex's scale interviews, we have with us Dr. Louis G. Newdy. He's a diabetologist and endocrinologist at Guy's Hospital and King's College in London. Thank you so much, Doctor, for the interview. Uh, so my first question to you is, what are the new treatments uh, for kidney and cardiovascular diseases? In the last uh, four or five years, there has been a very interesting development uh, of new drugs which are hypoglycemic agents, the inhibitor of the SGLT2 protein, which reabsorb glucose in the proximal tubule of the kidney. And these drugs are showing as a class effect uh, an important cardiovascular and renoprotective role, which has uh, been proven uh, uh, year after year with different trials. Some of them uh, are completed, some uh, will be completed in the next few months, years. And it actually, uh, is actually a very important step forward for helping our patients and uh, the prevention uh, of cardiovascular disease and end-stage renal disease. And hopefully it will be an important step forward. Okay. Uh, so, Doctor, what uh, are the mechanisms of action of these newer drugs? In parallel to these drugs, there are certainly other new pathways which have been explored and there are drugs in phase one or phase two and I think just to simplify and summarize it there are drugs targeting oxi oxidative stress which I know you know we know it's one of the major causes of uh, cardio renal disease and diabetes uh, there are drugs targeting inflammation again another important pathway in the pathophysiology of diabetic chronic complication and possibly some uh, uh, modulator of the vascular repair. And some of, uh, uh, for example, some have been tried in retinopathy. We will see whether they make it to the kidney or the cardiovascular system in general. Uh, uh, certainly promising, but I think the SGLT2 inhibitors today is uh, like a little revolution. It reminds uh, in the 90s the introduction of inhibitor of the renin angiosensing system. So similar, I would say, efficacy and maybe mechanism we'll see when we learn more about these drugs. Okay. Uh, so can you please also elaborate on the, f uh, the future of research in uh, um, kidney and cardiovascular diseases? Well, I think today we are focusing mainly on the SGT2. We need to understand the mechanism of action uh, more and by understanding this will probably help us maybe introduce understand new targets and uh, maybe uh, propose new treatment uh, why are these SGLT2 inhibitors so important in terms of cardio renal protection there are different theories there is a hemodynamic theory there's a intrarenal theory there's a metabolic theory which all uh, uh, propose different mechanisms. There are a lot of studies ongoing looking into this. I would say very exciting from the academic point of view. It was a very unexpected uh, outcome from these drugs and we're learning a, a lot and uh, we're understanding physiology and part of physiology of disease much better. Uh, so watch the space. Okay, uh, so thank you so much doctor for the interview. It was a pleasure having you here. Okay, thank you.